Hey y'all, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Um, I'm so glad that you're here with me. Um, I just moisturized my face, that's why my face is a little shiny. <laughs> but today I'm going to share with you guys how I'm freezing corn this year. This is a whole new way for me and no blanching needed. So I'm going to share that with you today. Several of you told me it was a great way to do it and other people said please share how you're doing it so that's what I'm doing I'm also going to run to Sam's and share with you a small Sam's haul that I did so that's what this video is about I will see you guys later hey y'all welcome to the farm and pastor's wife I'm so glad you're here today we're going to be putting up corn easy no blanch way okay guys so the other day on instagram i posted a picture of some corn i had put up and i stated that there was no blanching involved now this is a new way for me i've never done it this way before and a lot of you were like Yes, girl, I do it this way all the time. It's so easy. It's so delicious. It's wonderful, just like you're getting it out of the garden. And then there were some of you that said, I always blanch. I've never seen this. Can you show me more? So today I'm showing you more. So we're going to come over here to the corn and we'll get started. Okay, y'all. So there is nothing I like better than fresh corn. So I'm hoping this way works. Let me show you a picture of the corn I put up the other day. I posted it on Instagram and Facebook. You've probably seen it, but hang on. Let me show you a picture of what I did last week. So doesn't that look easy? Well, y'all are fixing to see how easy this really is. So let's get started. Let me get you turned down here. I've got my cutting board out. Got my ear of corn. Now you can start by peeling if you want to. You can peel a few back. You don't want to peel many, but you know, a few. And then you take the knife, cut the end off. Always check, make sure you got any. These are not wormy at all, but um, if there were to have any worms. Cut the other end off. Get your Ziploc bag and open it. Ta-da! I mean, how easy is that? And then when you get it out, you freeze it and, I mean, you thaw it and the shucks and silks come right off from what I understand. There we go. I'm going to keep doing this. I'll bring you back when we're ready. And I'll shuck some of that corn. This is different corn than the ones I put up the other day. Um, so I went and got um, some different corn as well. And because I wanted to video this. So I needed some corn to video. And um, I'm going to go ahead and shuck and husk that all the way for this supper tonight. Okay, y'all, so here is my bag of corn ready to be frozen. Now, let me just say, if I had a food saver, that would be even better. You could get all this air out. I mean, I got out, I can probably get out some more. Um, but if you had a food saver that vacuum or a vacuum sealer, um, that would be perfect. But here is the more of the corn. I put up a bunch the other day. I had some friends who gave me corn and I just appreciate it so much. And um, another friend gave me this. And so I've got two bags and I put five in each of mine because usually when I'm fixing something like corn on the cob, Caroline, Jamie and the boys and Isaac and Jessica and everybody's here. So I fix a lot. And for supper tonight, I went ahead and shook some. So that'll go in the refrigerator. These two will go in the freezer. And y'all, I'm hoping this turns out really good. Everybody who has done it and told me about it says it is 
the easiest and the most delicious way to freeze vegetables. In fact, a lady at church told me the other yesterday that she doesn't blanch anything like llamas or peas or anything like that, that she just shells them, washes them, or I guess washes them and puts them in a bag and sticks them in the freezer. So, um, yeah, I think I may have scratched out a whole step of my preserving and freezing food. Uh, if I don't have to blanch anything anymore, hallelujah, hallelujah. In fact, I had a whole pot designated just for my blanching. Um, it, it was a strainer and in a pot and it was, it's old. It was my mom's, but I can pass that down to somebody else now or get rid of it because if this works, there's no need for it. So I'm heading out to put this in the freezer. I'm getting ready probably tonight to video the remodel reveal for you guys. So it's getting exciting around here. I got to clean up my mess. And since I've been working with um, garden vegetables and everything, and it's lunchtime now, I believe that's calling for a tomato sandwich. Tomato sandwich. Tomato bread, white bread. Well, I don't have white bread. I'm out of white bread. So it'll be just tomato, bread, salt and pepper, and mayonnaise. Yep. Tomato sandwich fixing to go down in here. These vegetables, oh, I love summertime vegetables. You, if you know the story of my garden this year, you know I didn't have a garden. Um, it was kind of a fiasco, but then it turned out to be a great thing because who knew my remodel was going to take like six weeks? This is the six week. It really only took five, but we're cleaning up from it still. So, um, yeah, I could not have, I could not have dealt with a garden in the midst of everything else. I just couldn't. So the Lord knew what he was doing when my garden failed. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just kidding. But it ended up being, I'm looking for the silver lining. It was a good thing. So I hope y'all enjoy putting up corn this way. Again, if you had a vacuum sealer, um, that would be great uh, and probably work better. But this corn is not going to stay in my freezer long enough to anything bad happen to it. So I'm going to go stick it in there now and come back and make me a tomato sandwich. Thank you guys for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Okay, so you guys have seen me putting up the corn and freezing it and taking care of it. Well, in a couple of days, I've got some peaches I got to deal with. And so you may see a, I'm trying to get my finger going in the right direction. You may see a video in the next two or three days. It may be next week sometime um, of me freezing some peaches, maybe making some peach ice cream, maybe making a peach cobbler. We may be doing lots of stuff with the peaches, but I'm going to show you how I freeze them. And I'll tell you about a second way that um, I'm considering doing it, maybe if I get some more peaches. So there's lots of things coming up. Um, I love to preserve food. I love to take care of uh, any garden or produce stand type food. I love to put it up. There's There's such a sense of accomplishment. I want to say pride, but I feel like pride is sometimes considered a bad word, but, or, but it, there's just a sense of, um, I don't know, accomplishment when I take care of food that is either A, been given to me or, um, that I have harvested myself or that I have even purchased. So, with that being said, the corn um, I received from two separate friends, um, my garden, that was a whole nother story. But anyway, um, I'm so thankful for them. I'm thankful that I was given the opportunity to put some corn up and um, provide supper, a good side dish on uh, any given night for my family. So I'm hoping this 
process works and I'm hoping it's delicious. Everybody says it's the best thing in the world, so we're going to give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you... Okay, guys, I wanted to show you how I'm going to boil my corn. I do it a little bit different. I use part water, part milk, and some butter. And if the corn was not sweet, I would add some sugar or honey to that water. But this corn is plenty. Here, let me make it, Ooh! let me make it sweet. Don't make it sweet. Gross. <laughs> that, would hurt. that would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so, but I just stick it in this water once it starts to boil and let it sit in there for about seven to 10 minutes. And this corn is amazing. Hey y'all, so Bryant and I had to come to Sam's. Um, we're doing remote VBS in, you know, some of the um, challenged areas in Asheboro. And our, we're going in with multiple churches. Our church, along with three or four others, are going in and um, doing this VBS. And so our church is in charge of food. So Bryant had to come to Sam's and get some supplies so I came along to do a little shopping, a little looking. I don't get up here much because it's about 35 minutes from the house or 40. And um, so I said, I'm going too. And I got my own buggy. He's got the church's buggy. And he's gone his way and I've gone mine. So we're going to take a look. If you guys have seen my remodel update, I need a rug for the front door. And this is a padded, like a really squishy padded rug and I'm gonna turn it long ways, I think. And I believe it was only $14.98. Uh, I thought that was a really good deal. So um, this is the rug for the front door. I love buying clothes at Sam's, especially my casual stuff, like the sweatshirts and stuff. Love it. So I picked me out a sweatshirt and some dark camo jeans. Okay guys, I always get my bathroom tissue here at Sam's and look what we found. You know, I make my own bang bang shrimp, um, but I found this already fixed. So we're gonna give this a try for like a Wednesday night when we're headed to church. We need a quick, easy meal. So we're gonna give this a try. I'll let you know what we think. Have any of you guys tried this before? Let me know in the comments. And y'all know I love this stuff. So we're getting this here at Sam's. Instant savings right there. Okay guys, here is Bryant's buggy. This is the church buggy for the mobile VBS. My buggy's on the other side over there. Um, I was able to use the Scan and Go app if you don't have that app you need to and you have a sam's membership you need to get that before christmas because you don't have to wait in the line to pay you just scan your items and pay from your phone and you show the lady a barcode and or a qrc code or whatever they're called and you go right out so um bryant went through the line um because the of course this is a different purchase and um i did my scan and go so it's a great great thing we're gonna stop here at sam's and enjoy a hot dog with sauerkraut and mustard he's in line now getting our stuff and it's very cheap y'all a dollar fifty for a hot dog combo right there that's a drink and a hot dog you cannot beat that Okay, y'all, I'm back from Sam's, so I wanted to share with you. It's just a fairly small Sam's um, haul, but I thought I'd share it with you and show you what I got. Okay, guys, let's start here with the Folgers Classic Roast. That is what we drink probably the most of, especially of a morning. We fix the whole pot in the morning. But at nighttime, we have the K-Cups, the Donut Shop K-Cups, um, when we just want a cup here and there. So we got our coffee there. We got us a pack. It's a double pack. You can see it's, it's two packs of the extra lean smoked turkey breast. And we were out of sandwich meat, so we definitely needed some sandwich meat. Um, back here, I got a dual 
a double thing of natural strawberry lemonade. Um, excited to try that. I love strawberry or raspberry lemonade, so I'm excited to try that. Mr. Judabug's candy jar has not been filled in a very long time. So we got him some M&Ms to go in his candy jar. I love getting my butter at Sam's. I love their butter and it's a good deal. I can't remember exactly how much it is for four packs, but um, each pack has four sticks. So that's 16 sticks of butter right there. And we get our toilet paper there at Sam's and oh, y'all know me and my ranch dressing. I make ranch dressing for salads from this and I season a lot of things with this. So there you go. We're going to try this dynamite shrimp. This will be like a quick, easy supper for me and Bryant, maybe a Sunday evening or a Wednesday night before church. Something when I need something quick and easy. We have our trash bags. I needed some more trash bags. This thing will last me forever, forever. I usually buy one for here and one for the chicken house and I totally forgot the chicken houses. Um, so I need to go back and buy another one for the chicken houses, but that'll just wait till the next time I'm there. Um, and I bought, I put back the black and gray camo pants. I really wanted them really really wanted them so i may go back and get them but i picked these instead and this is what they look like oh they're tight at the legs they're a little bit looser they're not the legging type style as the black ones um so i'm going to try these and i still may go back and get the other because i really liked it and i got this sweatshirt that says local on it and that's it with the exception of Look, Bryant's tired. He's he's such a hard work working person. He's conked out on the couch. Oh, there's eyeballs. Hey guys. <laughs> he said, hey guys. But here is the rug for the front door. And Bryant was afraid the door would rub, but it doesn't. It goes right over it. So Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed watching how I freeze corn and my quick Sam's Club haul. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.